two years ago, we were approached by Trinity College to conduct research into the whole area of concussion. So concussion is quite a prevalent issue at the moment in the field of sports medicine. Uh, it has been reported in the literature that 5 to 10% of all injuries in elite men's rugby are concussions. Uh, to date, there's a, a battery of tests such as the SCAT-3 and the Head Injury Assessment Tool available in the diagnosis and management of concussion. Uh, the aim of our research was to add another objective test to this ba already existing battery of tests, which would look at a blood biomarker uh, test to help in make a more accurate diagnosis of concussion and to help in the management of the return to play protocol. Uh, additionally, Trinity and Leinster have also looked into using an objective biomechanical assessment and biomechanical test. So if you have a, a brain injury and you are unlucky enough to end up in A&E in hospital, they will measure something called blood biomarkers. So these are um, proteins which are found in your blood and show that you've received a brain injury. They generally will show that your blood brain barrier has been compromised. So this protein shouldn't really be in your general circulation and are because something has happened to your brain. And these help us understand how severe your injury is and help us form a prognosis. So we, we looked at all the research that was done around protein biomarkers and we found that sometimes they can be shown to be in the general circulation when there hasn't been a brain injury that's occurred. So we would need something very specific and accurate. So we've actually teamed up with Europe's leading diabetes hospital in Denmark to look at this metabolomics. In their state-of-the-art lab, they're able to look at pattern recognition. So they have um, a group of what we call control patients who have had a severe brain injury. And we're able to compare the findings in our players who've had concussion against that. And we're looking for similar patterns. Initial results have been exciting. It looks like we're able to match the pattern of our concussed player against a brain injured person. And this will help in our diagnosis. Ultimately, what we'd really like to do is to, to go the, the way diabetes is assessed with a little drop of blood every day. That will be extremely useful for clinicians working in rugby, that they'll be able to assess quickly. And they'll also be able to assess over the following days when the patient has come back to normal. The approach that we're taking is that in sporting collision events, there's often multiple camera views of the same event, and we try to use that to our advantage. And so a little bit like the way Google Earth uses more than one camera angle to reconstruct the three-dimensional shape of the Earth, uh, we are trying to reconstruct the movement patterns of players based on having multiple camera angles. And it works by having a, uh, a skeleton model, a computer skeleton model, you have several camera views of the same event and you morph the skeleton model in each of the camera views at each time frame. And from that, you can extract the kinematic movement patterns of the players. And we know from our work on pedestrian accidents that there are certain kinematic limits that the body can withstand. And from that, we can start to estimate in a particular event, is this player going to be injured or not? And in the long term, uh, if this method can be uh, automated to run uh, in real time, then we have the potential to, to provide feedback to the referee in a TMO sense to say that particular event there, that's problematic, this player may need to come off the pitch. And uh, we've just found that if you have three camera views and if these three camera views are sufficiently perpendicular to each other, that the results work really well. And so we're happy with this because it allows us an evidence-based uh, way to move forward to analysing head injury cases in sport. Leinster are very committed to research. Uh, through our collaboration with Trinity, we've been able to gain a greater understanding into the whole area of concussion. Um, through the use of Trinity's excellent facilities and the expertise of the academics, we hope to develop this objective test to help in the management of players. Ultimately, our aim as Leinster physiotherapists is player welfare, and we hope through our collaboration with Trinity College that we can add another objective test, the already existing battery of tests that will help in the best practice management of the concussed player and the help aid in their return to play.